The ones are a bit shaky, but they're alive. They wanted to stay, so I cleared them a path. That's brave of them, but not what the Council wanted. I hope they'll be all right. Many of the natives died, but there was no way to take them all out. Don't worry. We have experienced Jedi coming to do just that. No more Padawans will be allowed into the Gnarls until we've repelled the Flesh Raiders. You probably want to get back to your trials. Again, thank you, and may the Force be with you. Glad to share my skills with someone talented. We can spar anytime. I chuba the maxa. Womi topi. Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check. Appreciate your business. Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check. Appreciate your business. Anything a soldier needs, and some things he doesn't. Good luck out there.
for official business only. Return to your post. Padawan, I heard you've begun your trials. Master Orgus speaks very highly of you. No doubt you're pleased to have come this far. But some Jedi have the ability to do more, help more people. Interested? What's involved in this assignment? A war is brewing in the greater galaxy. The Sith Empire plots against the Republic and the Republic looks to the Jedi for aid. But not all who train to become Jedi are skilled combatants and leaders. Many are scholars, diplomats, strategists, and scientists. Which is why we've created a simulation to test Jedi and Padawans and certify them to lead Republic troops. 
I'm pretty good with a blade, but this... What does this simulation entail? Your humility is admirable, but unnecessary. I have already heard tales of your potential. The droids here in the yard have been programmed to act according to Imperial military protocols and battlefield tactics. Demonstrate your proficiency at defeating these droids, and you will be on your way to qualifying to lead Republic troops into battle. Can you do it? You can count on me. Excellent. The first set of training droids are ready for you. Get to it. I'm impressed. Hopefully we'll have something more challenging for you soon. Sorry, I'm busy. Got to make sure the programming on these droids is just right. Peace unto you, friend. I bear word from the Masters of the Temple. Will you take a moment and hear my message? By all means, my friend. Let us talk. You do me great honor. Your present mission is all important, but the Masters want to make sure you do not miss what the Temple has to offer. When you have time, see Master Mojita. He will guide you in the other skills of the Jedi. I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. You have my full attention, Master. What do you need? This isn't a discussion for a comm channel. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. <laughs> Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled flesh raiders, and a force user armed with a lightsaber. It must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you alright? Don't worry about me. I admire your composure, but have you truly searched your feelings about this? Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does the killing. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. You can't expect me to be reasonable in the heat of battle. That's the paradox all Jedi face when they fight. You will find a way. You must. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion. 
There is peace. Remember those words when times are darkest. And take this. The code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the Council Chambers. I searched the temple archives. This Force user leading the Flesh Raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. The enemy I faced wanted to destroy the Jedi Order. Can't get much darker than that. Well, that brightened up the room. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other Masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The Temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. They carry blasters and work like an army. We need to find out why. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it, with the help of my new Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in him. Stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. If I'm so special, Shouldn't the leader of the Jedi train me? My duties to the Order come first. And don't underestimate Master Orgus. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. Glad to share my skills with someone talented. We can spar anytime. Using a lightsaber is just as much science as art. Glad to share my skills with someone talented. We can spar anytime.
last those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. I'd rather do something about problems than discuss them. Still, there are times when talking is exactly what's needed. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. I'll make sense of things later. Let's find our enemy. I know people who can help. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally. But frankly, we need them. The Republic shouldn't be telling the Jedi what to do. Forgot how impressionable Padawans can be. Remember, Jedi exist to serve the Republic, even when we disagree. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. Find out everything the Twi'leks know about Flesh Raiders. I'm ready to get back out there. Do some good. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you. Too late, Jedi. Like all the other times. The Flesh Raiders already came. They already took their victims. My father knew these mountains. He helped guide the patrols when he could. 
But when the flesh raiders appeared, he never made it home. He wasn't young, but he deserves better than to be ripped apart. Show compassion, Jedi. Find him, and kill any raiders who'd stop you. I'll do everything I can to find your father. Be well, then. But more important, be quick. Please. If you find him, if he's hurt or confused, you'll know him by his golden promise ring. He wouldn't part with it. Not until death. Raiders are here. I can't fight them. The patrol is too far away. I can't. Goodbye, my son. My matriarch. Goodbye.
Ilgaktu me alhal da min pera buru ni? Ilgaktu me alhal da min pera buru ni? Jedi, you're back. What happened out there? Where's my father? I did everything I could, but it wasn't enough. What? No! Those monsters! Tell me you cut them into pieces for what they did! I went out there to save a man's life, not to satisfy your thirst for blood. So you let those monsters live? I should be grateful to you for finding out the truth, but you desecrate my father's memory. Jedi fight for peace, not to kill. So far as I can see, Jedi fight for nothing. Leave me to grieve. We won't speak again. Post exchange around. You need it, we got it. Good luck out there. Anything a soldier needs, and some things he doesn't. Come over here, Jedi, and spare a moment for a humble servant of the Matriarch. I promise, your other dealings will wait. My name is Vidariot Aeon. I minister to the bodies and spirits of the villagers, and I have a request. I speak of the Flesh Raiders. Of late, we've seen them growing stronger, and I know why. What are the Flesh Raiders, exactly? Where did they come from? No one's sure. They were here when the pilgrims came to Tython. The Flesh Raiders have been experimenting, concocting an elixir that makes them ravenous. The ones who drink it go mad. Their lips froth, and they pounce like starving animals. It's black medicine, primitive and evil. How can we be certain this is true? One of our warriors was captured by the raiders. He escaped and told me what he learned as I tended his wounds. We lacked the numbers to attack the flesh raiders directly, and not even the Jedi could wipe the monsters from this world. But with our warriors' help, the Jedi could reach the flesh raider caves and destroy their vats of elixir. Then I will make it happen. Thank you for this. Odemus Mare knows where the vats are hidden. He is our guard captain. Talk to him to learn the raiders' secrets.
Jedi, I think I know what you've been doing. The Daria sent you to speak with me. She told you about the Flesh Raider elixir, didn't she? How it makes the Flesh Raiders strong. The Dariot's been looking for a way to destroy the elixir, but she's making a terrible mistake. We shouldn't destroy the elixir. We need it. And I'll pay you well if you bring it to me.